can also reach as high as the Empire State Building. For those worried about its 35-minute maximum flight time, it also has a parachute attached in case of any mishaps. Chinese firm Xpeng believe it would be perfect for short-distance city journeys, such as sightseeing and transporting medical supplies. It is expected to cost the same as a luxury car, such as a Bentley or Rolls-Royce, and come to market by 2025. Weight. 560 kg size, 16.3 feet, h, by 15.7 feet, l, seats, 2 passengers, weighing no more than 16 stone each, max flight time, 35 minutes max speed. 81 miles per hour cost, similar to a luxury car, like a Bentley or Rolls Royce available, expected to be 2025 material, carbon fiber frame propellers, 8, 2 on each for corners power. 4 independent battery packs Brian Gu, President and Vice Chairman, said the ultimate aim was for it to be used by wealthy individuals as their day-to-day -day mode of transport. But, with several regulatory hurdles still to cross, he said the vehicle would likely first be contained to the outskirts of cities or on scenic strips. This could include Dubai's seafront, where it made its first public flight on Monday as part of Gatex global event. Like a helicopter, the X-2 takes off and lands vertically using two propellers on each four corners of the vehicle where the wheels would usually be with two doors that rise up either side. The 16 feet long vehicle weighs around half a ton and carry two people weighing just under 16 stone each. With a top speed of 81 miles per hour, it can fly for up to 35 minutes and reach a height of 3,200 feet, though it will likely cruise at around 300 feet. Owners are expected only to require a driver's license as the initial flying will likely have to be done autonomously, Mr. Gu said. He said, if you want to control the vehicle, you will probably need to get some certification, a certain level of training. Asked whether the vehicle could be used by emergency services, he said, I think these are all scenarios that can be tackled with a flying car. But he said the company was not yet focusing on specific use and instead making the design a reality first. Mr. Gu added that the testing version has an active parachute that will automatically deploy, but future models will have more safety measures. Mr. Gu said the company was aiming to have the vehicle ready for customers by 2025, but they are aware that it might take time for consumers to feel comfortable with flying cars. He said, I think once there's enough on the road and being seen in cities around the world, I think that that will expand the market quickly. We see the most difficult thing as convincing people more than anything, billions of dollars worth of investment have been poured into the EVTOL, electric vertical takeoff and landing, sector, as companies race to be the first commercial success. NASA is testing a new electric aircraft that can take off and land vertically, in the hope that by 2024 will be able to shuttle passengers across busy cities at 200 miles per hour. The Joby Aviation Vehicle could one day serve as an air taxi service for those in cities and surrounding areas, adding an alternative mode of transport for people and goods. According to the NASA team working in Big Sur, California, the all-electrical, flying taxi, can take off and land vertically and is a helicopter powered by six rotors designed to be as quiet as possible. The 10-day study started on September 1, and will see officials from the NASA Armstrong Flight Research Center test its performance and acoustics. The electrical vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL, vehicle is the first in a number of aircraft that will be tested as part of NASA's Advanced Air Mobility ARM, campaign to find future rapid modes. 
of transport that could be approved for public use. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date. Peace for everyone. Thank you very much for visiting my channel. If not difficult, like and subscribe to my channel to always be aware of events. Thank. A flying car could whisk tourists around cities at speeds of up to 80 miles per hour in just a few years' time, a company has claimed. The all-electric Xpeng X2 is expected to stick to an altitude of roughly 300 feet, around the height of Big Ben. But the two-seater, which can be flown remotely,